Pictures of Hitler and Mussolini along with symbols of hate plastered all over the lobby of a condo in Queens. And it's not the work of vandals. People who live there say the property manager is behind the offensive display. Sharon Crowley shows us what they're doing to take it all down. Walk through the lobby of this condominium in Sunnyside, Queens, and the faces of Hitler and Mussolini stare back at you. And that's not all. Anti-Semitic images, including swastikas, pictures of weapons, and faces of Confederate generals adorn the walls. Residents say the head of the condo board and property manager Neil Milano put them here. Lisa Sheena is Jewish and owns a condo in the building. He was always was saying, well, I like it. Kids like it. We don't care what you guys think. There is also a mixture of pictures of civil rights leaders and President Donald Trump posters. The building directory doesn't list residents' names. Instead, it has the names of famous people who don't live here and infamous German Nazi commanders. New York City Council member Jimmy Van Bramer represents Sunnyside, Queens. He says residents here are living in fear. What's happening in this building is an affront to all of us. Uh, it is an absolute disgrace that there are Sunnysiders who are living in fear, literally being held hostages in their own homes because of the property manager uh, and director of the board here who is terrorizing the people of this building with racist, anti-Semitic, uh, and anti-immigrant actions that are taking place on almost a daily basis. This right group of here city leaders here today want the mayor, the NYPD, and the Attorney General of New York to investigate. Evan Bernstein is the regional director of the New York Anti-Defamation no League. No one should have to walk through their lobby adorned with swastikas or portraits of Adolf Hitler. Horrific symbols of anti-Semitism and hate that are affecting all minority groups. Milano's lawyer released a statement that said in part, the murals in the lobby were approved by the board to reflect American history. He went on to say, while the appropriateness of such informative and evocative artwork in the lobby is a matter of judgment and taste, no fair observer would conclude that it is bigoted in any way. Despite those reassurances, many residents we talk to say they still feel uncomfortable every time they have to look at their lobby when they come or go from their building. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. A proud 